Everyone who flies needs to know where the Boeing 777 is and why it ended up there. Big modern airliners can't just vanish without explanation. A decade-long enigma, a global search that spanned oceans, and a revelation that could change everything. What if the elusive Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 has been found at last? This morning, nearly 10 years to the day after Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 disappeared from radar and is believed to have plunged into the Indian Ocean, a glimmer of hope at this memorial for the victims. After 10 years of relentless searching, scientists have pinpointed a perfect hiding spot that could reveal the plane's final resting place. Could this be the breakthrough that uncovers the secrets of MH370's disappearance? The disappearance of Malaysia Airlines flight. MH370 Malaysia Airlines flight embarked on its ill-fated journey on March 8, 2014, departing from Kuala Lumpur at 12.41 a.m. local time. 39 minutes into the flight, as the aircraft crossed into Vietnamese airspace, Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah bid farewell to Malaysian air traffic control, saying, Good night, Malaysian 370. This would be the last communication from the flight. But what happened next would shock the world. Just two minutes later, at 1.21 a.m., the plane's transponder, which relays its location to air traffic control, was switched off. From that moment, the plane vanished from civilian radar, and all contact was lost. How does a modern aircraft simply vanish? Despite losing contact, Malaysian military and civilian radar continued to track the plane from 1.30 a.m. as it took an unexpected turn. It flew southwest across the Malay Peninsula before heading northwest over the Strait of Malacca. The military radar finally lost contact with the aircraft at 2.22 a.m. over the Andaman Sea. Though off the radar, Flight MH370 was still emitting hourly signals, known as handshakes, to an Inmarsat satellite stationed in geostationary orbit over the Indian Ocean. The last of these signals was received at 8.11 a.m., indicating the plane had continued flying for hours after losing contact. But where did it go during those silent hours? Debris discovery and search efforts. The disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 remains one of the most baffling mysteries in aviation history. The search for the missing aircraft involved unprecedented global efforts, sophisticated technology, and significant resources. Initially, search efforts were concentrated in the South China Sea and the Andaman Sea. However, a critical breakthrough came on March 15, 2014, when Inmarsat, a British telecommunications firm, confirmed that automated satellite communications from MH370 suggested the plane had turned westward after its transponder was disabled. Analysis of these signals indicated that the aircraft could be located along one of two arcs, one southward into the Indian Ocean and another northward across Asia. By March 24, Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak announced that, based on this data, it was concluded that MH370 had crashed into a remote part of the Indian Ocean approximately 2,500 kilometers southwest of Australia. But could this desolate location hold the answers the world is desperately searching for? With the search now focused on the southern Indian Ocean, efforts transitioned to the underwater domain, presenting formidable challenges. The search area, known for its extreme depths and rugged seafloor, required advanced technology and innovative techniques. Could this be where the secrets of MH370 lie, hidden in the ocean's depths? On April 6, 2014, an Australian ship detected several acoustic pings, potentially from the plane's flight recorder, or Black Box, approximately 2,000 kilometers northwest of Perth, Western Australia. The AAIB later confirmed that these pings matched the final satellite contact. However, Despite robotic submarines investigating the area, no debris was discovered. Further tests revealed that a faulty cable in the acoustic equipment might have caused the pings, adding another layer of complexity to the search. How many more obstacles would stand in the way of solving this mystery? The underwater search, which commenced in October 2014, was a monumental undertaking due to the extreme depths and challenging terrain of the seafloor. 
Despite scanning over 120,000 square kilometers with advanced technology, the search yielded no further evidence of the plane. On July 29, 2015, a right-wing flaperon was discovered on Reunion Island in the Western Indian Ocean, the first concrete evidence linking the debris to MH370. This discovery confirmed the plane had crashed into the Indian Ocean and raised questions about how the debris ended up so far from the suspected crash site. Following the flaperon discovery, additional debris was found washed ashore on the east coast of Africa and various islands in the Western Indian Ocean. As of 2021, more than 30 pieces of debris had been recovered and examined, including parts of the wing and interior cabin items. The distribution of these findings aligns with ocean current models, supporting the general search area even though the main wreckage has not been located. The analysis of the recovered debris suggested the plane was likely in a controlled glide when it hit the water, and indicating it might have been under some form of control until the end. But what caused such a controlled descent, and who was behind it? The search for MH370 also encountered several technical and logistical challenges. But how do you search the depths of the ocean for a needle in a haystack? The sea floor in the search area is characterized by extreme depths, often exceeding 4,000 meters 13, feet, and features rugged terrain with underwater mountains and deep trenches. To overcome these obstacles, search operations employed sophisticated sonar devices and unmanned submersibles. In January 2018, Ocean Infinity, a U.S. marine robotics company, was authorized by the Malaysian government to continue the search under a no-find-no-fee contract. This search focused on an area north of the previously identified search zone based on a debris drift study. However, this renewed search also failed to yield any traces of the plane, and it was concluded in May 2018. How could something so large remain so elusive? The search effort drew on assets from multiple countries, highlighting the global commitment to solving the mystery of MH370. The search for Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 was an extraordinary endeavor characterized by international collaboration, advanced technology, and significant financial investment. But how could a global effort still fall short? Despite scanning vast areas of the ocean floor and recovering numerous pieces of debris, the main wreckage of the aircraft remains undiscovered. The recovery of debris has provided valuable information about the final moments of the flight and informed the understanding of the crash's general location. However, the exact circumstances leading to the disappearance and the precise location of the main wreckage continue to elude investigators, leaving the case of MH370 as one of aviation's most enduring and unresolved mysteries. Will the truth ever be found, or will MH370 remain an enigma forever? Passengers and crew. On board Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 were 239 individuals, including 227 passengers and 12 crew members. The passengers represented over a dozen countries, with more than half being Chinese nationals. Among them were 24 prominent Chinese calligraphy artists returning from an exhibition in Kuala Lumpur, 20 employees of the U.S. tech firm Freescale Semiconductor and a Malaysian couple on their long-delayed honeymoon. Can you imagine setting off on a journey only for it to become your last? There were also families with young children, including five children under the age of 12 and two young Iranian men, Puria Noor Mohammad Merdad and Delavar Sayed Mohammad Reza, who were traveling on stolen passports to seek new lives in Europe. What desperation drives someone to board a flight with a stolen identity, only to vanish into thin air? Notable among the passengers was Philip Wood, an IBM executive who had been living in Beijing and was planning to relocate to Malaysia with his girlfriend. Did any of them sense the fate that awaited them? In the cockpit were Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah, a seasoned pilot who had been with Malaysia Airlines since 1981, and First Officer Farik Hamid Ahmad, who had recently qualified to co-pilot the Boeing 777. What went through the minds of the crew in those final moments? The cabin crew was led by Patrick Gomes, a supervisor with 35 years of experience. When the plane disappeared, scrutiny extended to its cargo, 
which included electronics such as lithium batteries, walkie-talkies, and a large shipment of mangosteens, a tropical fruit. In the aftermath, Zhu Qi, an international Buddhist organization, and Malaysia Airlines provided emotional support to the families of the passengers, with many family members flown to Kuala Lumpur for assistance. But can any amount of support truly ease the pain of such an incomprehensible loss? Theories surrounding MH370's disappearance. No definitive evidence has emerged to explain the disappearance of flight MH370. But what if the truth has been hiding in plain sight all along? Various theories have been explored over the years, with one prominent theory suggesting that the captain or another crew member deliberately crashed the plane in a mass murder-suicide. Could someone on board have had a darker motive? Investigations into the crew's financial records and personal activities leading up to the flight revealed no significant behavioral changes or financial troubles, according to a 2015 Malaysian report. Additionally, a 2016 report in New York Magazine highlighted that the pilot had used his home flight simulator to practice a route over the southern Indian Ocean, similar to the path MH370 is believed to have taken. Could this be the chilling proof that the crash was no accident? Despite this, Malaysian authorities stated there was nothing particularly concerning about the simulator data. In the wake of the disappearance, speculation ranged from mechanical failure to hijacking, with the loss of A-cars and transponder signals fueling these theories. Could a hijacking have gone terribly wrong, leading the plane into uncharted territory? However, no group or individual claimed responsibility for hijacking, and it seemed unlikely that hijackers would have navigated the plane to the remote southern Indian Ocean. Or is there an even more sinister explanation? The fact that these signals were likely turned off manually suggested a possible crew suicide, but no suspicious behavior was noted among the captain, first officer, or cabin crew. After debris was discovered, some speculated that the plane might have been shot down, but no evidence of missile or projectile damage was found. Could this mean the plane met its end in a way no one has yet imagined? In 2014, Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak indicated that the radar transponders and flight data transmission system had been deliberately disabled to conceal the plane's location, which further fueled hijacking speculations. But who would go to such lengths, and why? Investigations into several passengers including two Iranians traveling on fake passports, found no evidence linking them to the disappearance, leading authorities to conclude that the two men were seeking asylum. Is there still more to uncover about their involvement, or is the answer even more elusive? Impact of MH370 on Aviation Safety and Technology The disappearance of MH370 exposed gaps in our global aviation tracking systems. Could this tragedy have been the catalyst for change that the aviation industry desperately needed? In response, the International Civil Aviation Organization has implemented new standards requiring aircraft to report their position every 15 minutes over open ocean. In remote areas, this reporting will increase to once per minute if the plane deviates from its intended route or experiences sudden changes in altitude or speed. These new regulations, fully implemented in 2021, aim to ensure that no commercial aircraft can disappear without a trace, as MH370 did. But is this enough? Or does the mystery of MH370 reveal deeper vulnerabilities in our increasingly complex and interconnected world? The case has also led to advancements in oceanography and underwater search techniques. The detailed mapping of the seafloor in the search area has provided valuable data for scientists studying ocean currents, underwater geography, and marine ecosystems. Yet despite all this, the plane remains lost. How could that be? But the deepening mystery would not be cracked until the plane itself was found. So now Australia took charge of the investigation, running what would be the biggest undersea search in history. But perhaps the most profound impact of MH370 is on our collective psyche. In an age where we can track a smartphone to within a few meters, how can a Boeing 777 with 239 people on board simply vanish? The disappearance of MH370 challenges our assumptions about the reach of our technology 
and the limits of our knowledge. Have we truly made progress or are we still vulnerable to the unknown? Potential 2024 Search Ocean Infinity, a marine robotics company that has been deeply involved in the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370, is planning to resume its efforts in 2024. Could this be the search that finally solves the mystery? This decision follows their previous searches in 2018, where they used advanced autonomous underwater vehicles to scour large sections of the Indian Ocean. Despite those efforts, the aircraft's wreckage has yet to be found. In 2022, Ocean Infinity committed to a new search pending approval from the Malaysian government, which requested credible new evidence to justify the operation. As of 2023, Ocean Infinity has been reviewing data from their previous searches to ensure nothing was overlooked. Will they finally uncover what so many have sought? The Malaysian government, in consultation with Australia, is considering a proposal from Ocean Infinity that includes new, yet-to-be-disclosed evidence. What could this new evidence be, and could it change everything we thought we knew? The proposal suggests conducting the search on a no-find, no-fee basis, which minimizes financial risks for the involved governments. This renewed search effort would benefit from significant technological advancements, including Ocean Infinity's Armada fleet, which is capable of operating autonomously at great depths, covering larger areas more efficiently than previous missions. The focus remains on a part of the southern Indian Ocean, where MH370 is believed to have ended its journey, a region known for its challenging underwater topography. Is this rugged terrain hiding the answers we've been seeking for a decade? The potential 2024 search represents a critical opportunity to finally locate MH370, providing closure to the families of the 239 people who were on board. Could this search finally bring peace to those who have been waiting for answers? The disappearance of MH370 has remained one of aviation's greatest mysteries, with various theories about its final moments, but no concrete evidence to confirm them. Should the new search prove successful, it could offer vital clues to understanding what happened during the flight's final hours and potentially solve a mystery that has captivated the world for a decade. Are we on the brink of uncovering the truth behind one of the most puzzling aviation disasters in history? Perfect hiding spot. In a striking development in the ongoing investigation into Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370, Australian scientist Vincent Line has proposed a new theory regarding the aircraft's final location. According to Line, the missing Boeing 777 may have been deliberately crashed into a deep and secluded depression within the Broken Ridge, a complex underwater plateau in the southeastern Indian Ocean. This area, characterized by underwater plateaus, volcanoes, and deep ravines, could serve as the perfect hiding place for the aircraft as Line noted in his LinkedIn post. The Broken Ridge's unique geological features, including steep ridges and fine sediments, could have effectively concealed the plane from detection, despite extensive search efforts. Line's hypothesis is based on the notion that the plane, after deviating from its intended course, was intentionally flown into this depth to avoid discovery. If true, what does this say about the pilot's intentions that night? Line's theory suggests that the plane's pilot, Zahari Ahmad Shah, was familiar with the region and deliberately guided the aircraft into the deep hole in the Indian Ocean. Could this be the elusive spot that has kept MH370 hidden from the world? He posits that the pilot's actions were calculated and intentional, aimed at ensuring the plane's disappearance from radar and satellite tracking systems. As Line stated, this work changes the narrative of MH370's disappearance from one of no blame, fuel starvation at the seventh arc, high speed dive, to a mastermind pilot almost executing an incredible perfect disappearance in the southern Indian Ocean. This view challenges the widely held belief that the aircraft's crash was due to fuel exhaustion and a high speed dive. Instead, Line argues that the pilot executed a meticulously planned maneuver exploiting his knowledge of the area to achieve a controlled and concealed crash. As the world continues to search for answers, 
could Line's work be the key to finally unlocking the truth? The significance of Line's theory lies in its potential to reframe the narrative surrounding the disappearance of MH370. His suggestion that the aircraft was deliberately plunged into the depths of the broken ridge implies a high level of premeditation and control by the pilot. This theory also addresses why previous searches, despite being extensive and costly, have failed to locate the wreckage. Line's work emphasizes the need for renewed focus on this specific region of the Indian Ocean, arguing that the complex underwater environment of the Broken Ridge could be key to solving the mystery of MH370. As Line concludes, whether it will be searched or not is up to officials and search companies. But as far as science is concerned, we know why the previous searches failed, and likewise science unmistakably points to where MH370 lies. In short, the MH370 mystery has been comprehensively solved in science. This renewed focus on the Broken Ridge could offer new insights into one of aviation's greatest mysteries. Has the elusive hiding spot revealed the truth behind MH370? Or is this just another layer in the puzzle? Share your thoughts below, and if you're eager for more revelations, hit like and subscribe for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.